Hello techies. Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In our previous tutorials, we have seen how to extract or fetch the details of the particular window and also we have seen how to fetch the details of a particular UI element. Now, I want to extract the data from the particular window. To make you understand, I will show you a small example over here. On my desktop, I have installed a software that is Contoso invoicing. It's related to the invoice. If you see on my screen, in my invoices, I'm having some data over here. You can see over here, I'm having ID, date, account name, contact, email, amount, status. This is related to the data. I want to extract this data table by using extract data from window. How can I go ahead and do that? And I will store this data in Excel. Let me drag and drop this action, extract data from window onto the workspace. Over here, it will ask which specific part of the window you need to extract the data. Over here, the window parameter, I'm going to select over here as add new UI element. If you see over here in my tracking session, I'm going to capture this entire data table. You can see over here, data grid. This is the entire data which I have. Let me capture that data grid by using control and left click of my mouse. You can see over here, the data grid details, I, can, I got the entire data. All right, let's click on done. Once you captured the data grid, where you want to store the data, there we are having the parameter, store extracted data in an Excel spreadsheet or a variable. So now what I'm going to do, I'm, I will store this entire data in an Excel to show you an output. All right, now I'm going to store the data in an Excel spreadsheet. And if you see the Excel instance over here, whenever you have selected an Excel spreadsheet, the instance will be created as a variable that is Excel instance. All right. As a common practice, I'm going to use display message on the workspace after completion of the flow. I'm going to give it as message box title as UI automation. And after that message display, successfully completed. All right, let's click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. And it is trying to extract this data from the particular window from the data grid. And you can see over here, it's pop up the Contoso invoicing software. Over here, if you observe, I got an Excel over here with the data related to the same data which we have as part of Contoso invoicing. That you can see almost all, you are having 25 records over here. Let me show you the same in the Excel. Over here, you can see all the records, 25 records are there. All the data has been captured and stored it in the Excel spreadsheet. All right, you can compare both the values over here. You can see the data which is there in the data grid is the same values which we have as part of the Excel spreadsheet also. And we got the pop-up saying that successfully completed. All right, let's click on OK. Now, to save the output, which we got it as part of the data grid, we have stored in the Excel spreadsheet. That Excel spreadsheet, I need to save somewhere. How can I go ahead and save that? By using Save Excel. Let's drag and drop the Save Excel onto the workspace. And there, the Excel instance, which I want to save it, that Excel instance, which has been created as part of the extract data from window, the same instance I'm going to take it. And the save mode, I'm going to save the document over here. Save document as. And I'm going to give the file path over here onto my desktop. And I'm going to give it as data grid dot Excel SX. And then I'm going to click on open. So I'm going to save this save Excel once again. And then let's run the flow once again to save the output in the Excel spreadsheet. Flow execution started. And you can see Contoso invoicing, it is trying to fetch all the data from the Contoso invoicing data grid. And it will store the data into the Excel. And then you can see over here, it has been converted the book one to data grid one. And then it has been successfully saved onto the desktop. Let me see that one by clicking on OK. Let me open the file once again, which is there on my desktop. If you see over here, this entire data has been 
saved successfully into the Excel. Now you may ask what is the purpose of this data extraction from window? This kind of data we can use for the analysis purpose. All right. I hope you understand how to work with extract data from window. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.